So we'll use the balanced equation here. This Al plus O2 gives us Al2O3 and the idea of a mole ratio to solve this problem here. So I already balanced the equation. If you need help, there's a link at the end of the video. But these coefficients in our balanced equation, we think of those as a ratio. So four to three to two. So for every four atoms of aluminum, we'd have three molecules of oxygen. We'd produce two formula units of aluminum oxide. So here's how we can figure this out. We have 3.2 moles of aluminum, and we want to know how many moles of aluminum oxide are formed. So if you just look at the ratio 4 to 2, we cut this number in half. We cut this in half, we get 1.6 moles of Al2O3. And the only time we use these coefficients, that's when we're looking at the ratio. So we have 3.2 moles of aluminum to 1.6 moles of aluminum oxide, 4 to 2 ratio. Let's take a look at this, though, using conversion factors, because that'll work on all kinds of equations, even when you have weird numbers like 3 and 7. So we start with 3.2 moles of aluminum. We'll multiply that by a mole ratio, and we'll end up with moles of aluminum oxide. So for the mole ratio, we want to cancel out these moles of aluminum. So we need moles of aluminum on the bottom, and we want to end up with moles of aluminum oxide. So we'll put that on the top. And now we use the coefficients. This is the only time we really use the coefficients with stoichiometry here. So we have two moles of aluminum oxide for every four moles of aluminum. We multiply, we have moles aluminum on top and bottom, that's gone. We have moles of aluminum oxide left over and 3.2 times two over four, 1.6, just like we found before. And that's how you'd use the mole ratio to solve this problem. If you needed to get this in grams, they ask how many grams, you just convert moles to grams, multiply by the molar mass of Al2O3. That would give you grams. This is Dr. B looking at the mole ratio for the equation Al plus O2 yields Al2O3. Thanks for watching.